dear student today uh, i have three different diagram here and some quantities are unknown we will find these quantities so let's start from the first one uh, before starting what is this diagram and what is the name of this this diagram i will tell you about uh, some previous about circle what is circle now look here is a circle you know about the circle and this point is called center center of the circle if i take a line from this center to the circle then this line is called radius this is called radius of circle and sometime you represent this one uh, by r and this is the radius of circle if i take in other line from here this line this is also radius of the circle so two lines when the two lines meet at a point then this point or this quantity is known as angle this quantity is known as angle and we represent this value by theta so here is theta this is r and this line from here to here this line is called arc length this line is called arc length and we represent this line by l so if you look this part this part of circle this part of circle is a sector so sector is a part of circle but not complete circle so here is a diagram here is a dia is called sector if you some uh, if here are some quantities are given then you find other quantities mean if the theta is given and radius is given then you find the length of this part then use formula l is equal to r theta where is l l is the length of this part r r is the radius of this part and theta theta is the angle of here so i put here the value given in the diagram and find the remaining one sometime uh, he says about find the value of this theta find value of the radius or find the value of the length you use this formula and this is for three quantities the two quantities are given to you and one quantities are unknown okay now you put the values all values the given here so who we want to find l l is equal to r r is the given here is the 12 cm and multiply theta is also given here so uh, here is one thing when theta is given in radian look here here the theta is given in degree sorry the value of theta is given in radian when you uh, use this formula your angle should be in in the form of a radian so here is a new concept how we convert a value how you convert a angle when it it is given in the form of a degree so here are one formula for convert conversion of degree into radian 1 degree is equal to pi by 180 radian if any angle given in degree then you convert this angle into radian how you convert you use this form 1 degree is equal to pi by 180 radian here are given 80 degree so use 80 degree is equal to pi by 180 and multiply 80 you multiply both side by 80 so 80 degree is equal to if you uh, cancel this value here will be 10 then remaining will be 1 by 10 radian so here is a an other concept for you what is the concept concept is that if the value is given in radian sorry in degree then you convert these value into radian for solving the value of this one this diagram in when you solve a sector you find uh, l or uh, you find arc length or you find radius then you convert the value of angle degree into radian then how you convert i tell you how you convert sometime here the value are given also in the form of radian so do you don't convert this value into other value so first you convert value the given value if it is given in degree you convert into radian how you convert i tell you you use this rule for conversion of degree into 
radian. So I put the value of here. The value of the radius is 12 centimeter and the theta. Theta will be the this value. Your this value you have convert into radian. So put here pi by 10. Now you simplify all this value. This means 12 by uh, 12 pi multiply 10. You put the value of pi here. The value of pi may be uh, 22 by 7. You can write 22 by 7 or something. Uh, sometime we write 3.14 and so on. So uh, you multiply pi by 12, then divided by 10, you will get your answer. I think you can do this easily. So this is uh, 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 the way to find the unknown value when you have given a sector. Okay, now come to the next dia. This is a uh, triangle. Triangle, the closed shape with three vertices is called triangle. There are many types of triangle. One one is uh, which which are uh, right angle triangle and equilateral triangle and so on. Here the triangle you have given is a right angle triangle. The right angle triangle is the triangle in which one angle is 90 degree. First of all, you select where is the 90 degrees. The this sign is tell you about the 90 degree angle. When you confirm where is 90 degree or where is the perpendicular line, then you solve the triangle. So first it is important for you to find where is the angle or where is the right angle, right line or right angle mean 90 angle. So this line or this sign show you this is the right angle. This is the for your right angle. This If this is your right angle, then this side is called perpendicular. This side is called perpendicular. The angle form in the perpendicular side, the angle 90, this line is called right angle. This, this line is called perpendicular. Uh, at the line below, this one is called base. So this is your perpendicular. And this line is your will be base. And this line will be hypotenuse. So first of all, when any triangle given, you check is this the right angle triangle or equilateral triangle, then you solve what, what you want to find. So uh, what, what, you, uh, what you want to find, then you uh, do this. So look this, uh, uh, look this uh, triangle. This is a right angle triangle because its one angle is 90 degree. And when you select where is the 90 degree angle, then the, uh, this line is called perpendicular and this line is called base and this line is called hypotenuse. Here uh, use the trigonometry angles, trigonometry ratios. First, first here uh, trigonometry ratios sine theta which is equal to perpendicular by hypotenuse. And second one is cos theta base by hypotenuse. And third one is tan theta which is, which is equal to perpendicular by base. So these things very important for you when you solve a right angle triangle. So sine theta is P. P mean perpendicular, H mean hypotenuse. I use only abbreviations. Cos base by hypotenuse, tan perpendicular by base. What, what trigonometry ratio you use here? You use those angles, sine, cos, or tan, in which the value of sum you know or you have given and you find other values. So if I use sin theta, I need perpendicular hypotenuse. Look here, I want to find base. So in sin theta, there is no base. So I can't use this one. So if uh, you check the cos theta, I want to find the base. Base is x. Hypotenuse, hypotenuse is given cos of theta and theta also given. So you can use cos theta. Here I use for this question cos theta. So, so cos theta is equal to base by hypotenuse. You put value here cos and theta. Theta is the this value 37.8 degree is equal to base. Base is x and hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is equal to 7. 3 centimeter. So you cross here, then x will be 
सेवन पॉइंट थ्री कॉस थर्टी सेवन पॉइंट एट डिग्री इज इक्वल टू एक्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ सेवन पॉइंट थ्री मल्टीप्लाई यू पुट हेयर द वैल्यू ऑफ कॉज थर्टी सेवन पॉइंट एट डिग्री एंड फॉर दिस वैल्यू यू विल यूज कॉलकुलेटर बिकॉज विदाउट कॉलकुलेटर यू कॉन्ट फाइंड आई राइट हेयर इन माई पेज फॉर दिस वैल्यू सो कॉस थर्टी सेवन पॉइंट एट डिग्री इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो पॉइंट नाइन नाइन फाइव इफ यू मल्टीप्लाई सेवन पॉइंट थ्री बाई सेवन पॉइंट थ्री मल्टीप्लाई जीरो पॉइंट नाइन एंड फाइव देन योर रिजल्ट यार योर आंसर विल बी सेवन पॉइंट आई थिंक सेवन पॉइंट थ्री यू कैन चेक इट इट मे बी सेवन पॉइंट थ्री आर मे बी सम एरर हेयर सो यू सॉल्व द राइट एंड राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल लाइक दिस इफ यू वॉन्ट टू एनी लेंथ और एंगल और एनी अदर लेंथ If you want to find perpendicular base and hypotenuse, you use the trigonometric ratios. These are six trigonometric ratios. I write here only uh, uh, three trigonometric ratios: sine, cos, and tan. You can also use secant, cosecant, and tangent values. So the so the last one is what is the last what is the last diagram tells us on how how we want to find here. The last diagram is about cone. find the volume of the cone so you write the formula for the exact value uh, to find the cone cone so uh, look here this is a cone this this is called base the base is look like a circle an area of circle you know pi r square and this this height is the height of the cone so i use uh, for the value of volume of cone is equal to 1 by 3 pi r square h so it's very simple values are given so 1 by 3 multiply 22 by 7 22 by 7 is the value of pi so next one is r here r r is the radius radius mean this line this line is your radius radius will be 5 mean 5 square 5 multiply 5 So last one is height. So height is here, twelve. Now you can use calculator and you can easily solve these. If you multiply all these value, twenty-two multiply five multiply five, your result will be I think six six. Your result will be six six and zero zero, and divided by three multiply seven is three times seven twenty one. Now you can easily uh, if you divide or use calculator, then you will you will get your result or your answer. So these are the three diagram I want to tell about this. Uh, I think you will be able to understand this. Thank you so much.